Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are coming to you from Ona, Florida. And this is Solomon's Castle, as you can see behind us. We've never been here before, so we wanted to, you know, come check it out and share it with you guys. Typically we do theme parks and botanical gardens and stuff like that, but we wanted to do something a little different. So uh, we're gonna go inside. I don't think we can film. There is some signs posted as we came up, it said no filming. No flash photography, no cameras, no none of that. So we'll go inside, share our experience, and on the outside of the grounds, we'll, you know, show that off as much as we can. But if you're ready, let's go have some fun. So when you guys arrive off to your right, you'll see this little booth with a sign that says purchase tickets in the boat. So we're gonna go over there to the boat and get our tickets. And I don't know how much we'll be able to film because it says no cameras, no cell phones, no touching. So we'll see what we're allowed to actual film, you know, and what we can uh, record. So you save six bucks when you buy your tickets as a package. So when you all arrive, you're gonna go to the right of the castle, right through this boat, and you'll walk through and go to the gift shop. When you get tickets, your tickets are gonna be little tokens. Back side of the boat. Check out the lighthouse, I love it. Over here is a little gift shop area right next to the outdoor seating area where the restaurant is. So there is our tickets. For two of them, it was $62. So you get these tickets, little tokens in the gift shop, like I said, right through that boat. And then you come back out in front of the castle and wait for the tour guide to come out. Now there's no filming. You can't take pictures inside the castle. But when we get out, we'll definitely discuss our experience and what it was like to go through. But yeah, so far it looks really neat. This isn't like your typical like Cinderella castle, but I really like it. Now off to the left of the castle, looks like a group is coming. So I think our tour guide will be coming to get us and we'll be on our way. And out front, off to the right, there's these little, uh, restrooms if you need to go to the restroom because there was no gas stations or any businesses on the way out here a bunch of farmland so if you need to go it's off to the uh, right of the castle Like the Alamo, doesn't it? Yeah. He did the face 
of this in one summer. It's a metal storage building that we still use to this day. But the Alamo is copyrighted. Now, he's Jewish. This one's called the Elishma instead of the Alamo. Oh, my God. But it's a yeah, it's new building. If you look at the side, it's a of our group we're gonna meet up with. We have arrived, the second part of the tour. No filming inside this, so we'll talk about it once we get out. All right, so uh, our tour guide uh, for the second part of the tour dropped us off right behind our vehicle, right in the parking lot. So we didn't have to do much walking at all, but uh, overall, this was a great experience. I, I'm, for me, I'm speechless because like, at first I thought this was going to be, well, I knew it was going to be different, but I didn't think I was going to be that blown away by how much Mr. Solomon could do. I mean, he had such a creative mind with, uh, trash. <laughs> yeah. Much. What, well, what people would just throw out, you know, at a point during the uh, tour guide, they said they, you know, our tour guide was saying they were throwing out stuff over his fence, you know? So he would just make all this stuff, you know, trains and, planes and hot air balloons and I mean there's so many things in that castle that we really liked and like paintings and oh yeah those um, sculptures a lot of those wood uh pictures with scrap wood it, it was amazing and then the second part of the tour was oh my His goodness it, like the, stuff yeah made. he has like old car old four cars from like uh the 30s and before then I mean that one car they said uh, was, I forgot the name of it, but the Speedster. Speedster. Yeah, um, from I think 19. I think they said there was only 100, 109 made and that's number 11. Yeah, so that it was it was crazy to look at that. I'm, I'm sure all those cars are worth a lot of money. What I liked the most was our tour guides, uh, our you know neighbors and friends of his. So even though Mr. Solomon had passed away in August of, I believe 2016, I thought it was quite meaningful and, you know, inspiring that his friends and his neighbors are, you know, you know, his dream is still living and people from all over come visit this castle. And it, it sounded like people thought he was crazy, you know, oh, I'm going to build a castle. Well, he did it. And still to this day, you can come out and check it out. And also don't forget to check out the uh, restaurant they have here. Um, the desserts are made by his daughter. Mm -hmm. So make sure you try the desserts. And I'm a little disappointed. We came late. We came at two. This place closes at four. So we didn't get to go try the food. But maybe if we come out, we'll check it out. Because it sounds like the food is really good. We looked at the menu. They got a lot of stuff on the menu. It looks good. Um, but definitely, definitely, I think this is probably going to be one of the experiences that I'll never forget. Doing all these, like, travel vlogs with you guys. It's definitely worth a visit. Um, I was blown away with the amount of stuff he made and the stained glass windows i could sit here and talk for like an hour about it it was just really an awesome experience yep. it was yeah. interesting but anyways um pfizer forever it's see you later